some of the high risk stocks that you can buy today includes um, Nvidia. You'd be surprised, Nvidia, and uh, Marathon, and uh, Neo. As it concerns Nvidia, Nvidia is uh, in battle. It, it seriously in battle. You know, geop geopolitically, fundamentally, rivals are coming up. Intel, AMD, and all the other chip makers. They are you know racing to you know join this um, uh, generative AI uh, race. You know. You know the privilege that Nvidia has been enjoying being the only company, practically the only company that is uh, supplying the chips. The H100s, you know, they have just literally, you know, taken Nvidia up to the skies, you know, because of their, because I mean, they, they, they got a bet right, you know, right from right from the onset, you know. So, you know, um, Intel, uh, AMD, they are all racing to, you know, come up with uh, with chips that uh, are going to equally do the same thing. So they are coming to. You know, take a slice of the, uh, this pie that Nvidia is practically eating alone. It's, they've been eating this pie alone for for some time now. I mean, let's just put it at for for one year now, practically eating it alone. You know, this company has gone from what it was. Let, let's we can actually have a look at the chart, and you get an idea of what has happened over the last one year. Okay, look at that. This is um, November of last year. You can see that this is where it was. It was at uh, $131.91. Now it is uh, $494.56. This is where it all began. It was all be it, it, it was as, as, as of that time. It was actually in a strong bullish trend. Okay, no, as of November last year, as of when well, beginning of November, yes, it was actually gradually. I think the underlying trend wasn't that wonderful as such. It was actually bearish. And then came um, chat, chat, uh, GPT, and everything changed. Everything changed, you know. So the risk is there, very, very risky. That is why we have, um, amongst other things, uh, there's this um, ETF that uh, tracks um, that. Um, yes, it says um, there's an ETF that tracks. Um, you can bet on, you know, which will give you around uh, two point five times or thereabouts. Um, um what is ndvs let me see and nvda and nvd nvds i think it's one of this 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 is exactly that's the one you know with this etf you can hedge your bet against um you know nvidia because you know this this has come out because they know it's it, it's quite risky it's quite risky you know it is risky in as much as it is successful, it is also risky, you know. So, yeah, it's you know, it's a stock you can buy. In a stock you can you can buy, but it's also very risky. You know, we have a position there. We opened up a position when the market uh, dipped uh, a few months, a few weeks ago, and it has it has actually gone up by by um, hundred by over twenty percent now. Just a few weeks ago, that's how astronomical this the stock is rising. You know. Um, this is not a rec this is not a, rec a recommendation a recommendation for you to buy Nvidia stock, but it is the point is that it is one highly risky stock, and uh, maybe that's why it is uh, yielding uh, results. You know, you know, a highly a major super super major cap stock that is uh, delivering twenty percent gains in just a few weeks. That's just 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 uh, that just tells you that it is uh, indeed highly risky, indeed highly risky. So uh, we can just. Uh, Quickly have a look at um, uh, Marathon. Marathon is also another highly risky stock as well. You know, tracking the moves, the gains of um, um, of uh, Bitcoin. Okay, tracking the gains of uh, Bitcoin. You can see that it's been of late. It has uh, it has um, I would say of late it reached this peak of 19.36 i think um the market participants believe the stock is uh frothy really really frothy and then you know they have continued to beat it down and, and um it hasn't um it, yes it, it hasn't caught sufficiently like uh, in my opinion tracked the the strength of uh of bitcoin of late but it is you know gradually getting there you know but um uh in v um bitcoin equality is, is also a risky play as well you know see so if, if things go wrong if uh, um uh, market participants change your opinion about um uh bitcoin you know kid can equally um you know affect um um an adjacent stock like a marathon and the marathon i think is i believe is the biggest um bitcoin uh, uh, bitcoin miner in the world i, I want to believe uh, you know, so the risk is very much there, you know. But at the same time, as well, some might say 
that it has uh, it's trading at a discount to all those uh, uh, the, the valuations it had as of uh, when it reached this peak of uh, 19.36 but um, the risk is uh, not as not as um, as high as maybe what you will find it with um, Nvidia but the other risks are around it I uh, you know it's um, Bitcoin you know is um, it's a digital asset you know and um, there's a lot of skepticism and all that stuff so you know you name it you know you, you find you find um, the reasons why uh, you uh, justify uh, marathon as a risky asset so the other one is uh, neo this is the probably the third time in uh, two days we are covering neo neo is uh, uh, it's not um, it's it, it's it's an industry where you know as um, this just maturing starts growing you know there's a lot of skepticism you know towards that uh, the EV space you know um, the biggest player Tesla is finding it difficult it's uh, you know slashing prices you know and uh, relying on um, um, on uh, uh, um, uh, relying on uh, subventions and uh, all those all sort of things you know and uh, of course Neo of course uh, it plays in China you know but at the same time it's, it's still a, it is still a bigger problem it's still it's the, the problem still pretty much there you know there's skepticism towards them um, I mean EVs whether are we, are we really going to rely on them you know uh, its output is uh, Neo's output is not as much as um, you know that is as much as um, uh, as would um, really support um, anything they, that uh, they have been uh, the management of the company has been putting out there you know so it's still growing it's still coming up you know so skepticism is very much there it's highly risky you know and um, we have actually seen uh, let's have a look at the daily chart you can see the, it's uh, you know it has just not it's just the, the, the line trend is a, is, a, is, a, is a bearish one you know so you don't want to you don't, you don't exactly know if you get involved now what it's going to retrace further and all those sort of things you know so very 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 risky very risky stock you know yeah so see what you make of all these uh, very risky stocks very risky stocks and um, I'll definitely continue to update you thank you very much for watching this video